Hello, dear learners. Welcome to this screencast of database labels. Just like reports, pair database labels will again need a query. So to this, see this question, then it is asking for labels arranged in two columns where only into cards which have not yet been dispatched. So let us create this query first. Go to the database, queries, create query in design view. We need both these tables. Let us display all fields and dispatched query criteria will be false. Let us check it so that it is not displayed twice. Let us say we can Now, if you see, there are 330 records at this point of time. Let us go to question. Now, it says, BIN should begin with 37. Now, you might have something called wildcard characters. So there are two wildcard characters, one star and one question mark. So here it says that BIN should begin with 37. So like 37 is in the beginning. Star means any number of characters and with any value. Question mark means only one character. So let us run this. So now we have about 192 records. Now it says country should be Spain. Now country is in another table that we have uh, established relationship with. Let me check this. So now there are about 43 records. Power field is E. Power field is S. 16 distinct is given. So E. Now let me remove this data. I don't want all this data. On BIN, country and power at this stage. Save. Run. Okay, so I have about now total eight records, all beginning with 37. Now it says that I should show only BIN model port and distributor. So BIN in the beginning, then it wants port so that I will ship here. model and then so, 
and then port and then distributor so database is s16 cars and not s16 distributors here you don't want to display this information we will uncheck that save run okay so that's the query So now we will actually start creating the label. Now, for creating label, first of all, close this query. So we have this query called labels. Now go to File menu, New, Labels. Now. Here I have already inserted some fields. Let me erase it so that we can see how it is done. First of all, you need to select the database. So whatever databases you have made, it will be shown here. And currently my database is this triple one. Now, which table do you want? So we want this both tables. Instead, we'll use query because we already created query. Then from this query, we want all these fields. We want BIL, we want model. We want port, we want distributor, we want each on a separate line so that it is visible properly. Now the format should be continuous. If you select sheet, it means it will display only one label per sheet. But we want all the eight labels on the same sheet. So that is why we will use this continuous. From format, I have changed it to these two columns and four rows because we want in two columns and total eight records, so four rows. Okay, let it be. Let us see. Uh, so, this is the printer setup. So, let us go again to labels and let these be as it is new document. So here you see it has produced all the eight labels. If you remember mail merge, then these are the database fields. So we can write some label ahead of it. Now similarly, do the same in all the labels. Not 
save it. Save it as labels OBP. Once it is saved, if you remember the mail merge, we will do the same process for printing. You go to print, it will ask your document contains address data fields. So, do you want to print a form letter? Yes. So, it will show you eight records, and currently we want to print as a file. Save a single document. It has labels, not ODT, but now the PDF document. So now, so it is converting PDF. Let us go to documents. These are some extra 